Uh, Happy New Year, Rajesh. Um, can you take us through the demand environment? You spoke briefly about it, but uh, you know, in your commentary, you mentioned about uh, short-term uncertainties. Uh, when I, when you look at it from an October point of view, and now in January, how have you seen that, uh, you know, moving uh, from from uncertainty point of view? Is it now you think that it's getting uh, coming to an end, and you have much better visibility uh, on that? Secondly, uh, growth rate. Uh, uh, bill to book, I think you have 1 to 1, 1.1. 1. 1. I think last quarter you mentioned 1.2, if I'm not wrong. Um, is, is orders coming in a little slow? Which, uh, coming in, you got 7.8 billion dollars, but is there a slowdown which is happening in closing the deals which is there? For Samir on the margins front, 24.5%. Uh, uh, do you see much headroom as you go into that? Uh, the pressure of wages and you know talent has it uh, come down significantly for you and or MG, you know, can you give a bit more on the BFSI space, how it's looking in the US especially? And HR account, <laughs> yeah, negative uh, 2000 net account. So okay, what went into that? Yeah. All right, Sajid. Uh, I think the demand on the pipeline is uh, kind of, so overall uh, demand scenario has not changed significantly. But uh, to be fair, um, it would take at least a couple of months more for us to actually know what the decision making is. We have gone into December with everybody being cautious, but our view is that this caution has different color across markets. So if you look at Europe, uh, there is obviously a, a real big issue out there and it would take some time uh, for this caution to uh, you know, dissipate. And we need to be cognizant about that and we'll see where it goes. But if you look at North America and UK, which uh, together constitute about uh, two thirds of our revenue and uh, probably three fourths of our profit. Uh, the environment there is very uh, different, uh, very supportive. Uh, North America, while uh, this quarter and probably maybe the start of the year might be a bit cautious, but our own view is that uh, into the year, uh, we should see a fairly positive one because there is no structural uh, challenge there. Of course, this is subject to how the whole inflation scenario plays out. But on our one-on-one -on -one conversation with clients, uh, we think that uh, this is a caution that is more in terms of being uh, wary and taking a decision slightly delayed rather than some, anything comparable to Europe. Uh, UK, uh, the environment is challenging. But uh, given the fact that there is no immediate uh, flip there that is expected, uh, customers and industries have moved forward in terms of the decision making and are committing to large scale, sometimes cost transformation, sometimes more structural transformations uh, along the lines of what, uh, for example, the um, deal that we have uh, announced with the leading telecom uh, provider there. So UK, though the economic environment is bad, the decision making is much more uh, decisive and much more progressing well. So we are participating in that. Uh, so that's the spectrum of uh, demand that you see. And the pipeline also kind of reflects that. Uh, 7.8 billion is right in the middle of our uh, target range of about 7 to 9 billion. So it's not bad in itself. Sequentially, it is down a bit. Uh, on a year-on-year -year basis, it is growing. Um, but if you compare it against our dollar growth rate on a year-on-year -year basis, it's a tad lower than that. I think that's a good reflection of where the uh, scenario is that uh, in terms of the overall demand. On the margins, uh, we started this year at 23.4% after giving a full uh, cycle of uh, increments. And then we have made good incremental progress so that during the last two quarters, uh, we are ending uh, Q3 at 24.5. And we are very focused on exiting this year at the same uh, margin, which we exited last year at, at 25%. On the wage front, uh, uh, the supply side challenges abating is definitely helping out because more so on the, uh, the elevated expectations of salaries uh, and uh, the backfilling uh, re uh, retention expenses, uh, that having come down uh, is definitely helping on the margin side. Yeah, BFSI has grown well. Uh, it's about 11% uh, year on year in this uh, particular quarter. Even by the deal momentum, um, $2.5 billion of uh, deals uh, is coming from BFSI. 
overall, um, you know, there's nothing to specifically call out, you know, especially, you know, more than what uh, Rajesh had uh, pointed out. Uh, the decision making in sometimes, you know, is getting slightly, you know, delayed. But then there is uh, nothing to call out as a worry at this point in time. And uh, going by the interactions that we have with our customers, they're all uh, engaged with us in uh, doing multitude of projects. Uh, some are technology transformation, some are related to regulations like data localization, um, large scale payment uh, restructuring, payment re-engineering, those kind of aspects. So, you know, I mean, I think there's nothing to call out, whether it is in the North America or uh, UK or uh, Europe. Um, seasonally speaking, you know, this quarter we had certain furlough impact, you know, in uh, more in Asia Pacific than in other parts of the world, but nothing special to call out. It's uh, uh, more or less the same that we typically face in this particular uh, quarter, right? Was the furloughs higher than a normalized level every year? No, no it's, I think it's comparable. Rajit, uh, you are aware that we made a significant uh, investment in hiring fresh talent uh, last year, as well as the last two quarters of this year. And also significant investment in talent development of these people to make them productive now. And that investment is now paying off. Coupled with uh, all the tightening which, uh, which uh, was talked about earlier by Samir, all of that together basically resulted in a negative headcount. But uh, that does not indicate anything on the demand side. Demand is high. We're just operating it very efficiently right now. On the absolute level, are you uh, in putting more people back on the um, op operations? Because you had a good, on an absolute level, the bench was yes. high for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bench was high for us. And then we were obviously getting also people in the last couple of quarters. All of that together, we are putting more and more people, making more and more people productive and putting them on, on, on uh, project work.